So let's dive deeper and try and understand what we are talking about and a very, very, let's address the elephant in the room that does Hinduism actually have what we call it as caste system. Does Hinduism actually have caste system and bifurcation between the upper class, lower class, the Brahmins, the Shudras, or is it just a typical leftist propaganda? Namaste, my name is Kartik Gaur, and in this video, I'm going to give you a simple explanation of what this so-called bifurcation is all about, which is actually purely based on gunas and varnas rather than actually caste. So sit back, enjoy, and if there are any questions, feel free to write that in the comment section. So let's dive deeper and try and understand what we are talking about and a very, very, let's address the elephant in the room that does Hinduism actually have what we call it as caste system, right? We have heard this very commonly that, hey, Hindus have caste system and they don't treat everybody as equal. Now, I want you to understand that who is the, who is the highest respected author, so to say, right? It is Vedavyasa as far as Hinduism goes. And who did he marry? He married a fisherwoman, which is technically supposed to be a Shudra caste, right? And then a Vedvyasa, you know, is the highest Brahmin, you know, if he is ready to marry a Shudra, do you feel that technically a Maharishi or any Rishi at that level is going to bifurcate somebody purely based on caste by birth? Absolutely not. Now, the concept that they were talking is what we call it as Varna system. Yeah. And what is Varna system? Let us try and understand that a little bit. Okay. Now, technically, when we talk about Varna, Varna is bifurcated into four areas. Now, in Vedic astrology, generally, we tend to say that there are four Kendras. So, I don't want to make this video very, very technical. But, you know, more or less, we can say that all the four Varnas are making one of the Kendra stronger. Yeah. So Varna is divided into the Brahmin, Kshatriya, Vaishyas and the Shudras. In the next slide, I'll, I'll give you a better clarity in terms of what I'm talking about. But this is more in terms of Varna and not caste. Because caste is not Varna. The, the propaganda, the amount of wrong information which has been spread based on the caste system and caste system equals to Varna is absolutely wrong. Yeah. Now, each Varna is associated with a specific planet as per Vedic astrology, and that is going to give you a quality, right? I might be born as a Brahmin, but let's say if, if I'm superb at sales and I'm, I'm achieving target of 5 million every year, you know, year and year uh, selling ERP solutions, so on and so forth then technically I am doing a Shudra work because it's it's related to Saturnine energy, right? And sales is ruled by Saturn. Yeah, we'll come back to that. The ancient business or ancient wisdom is basically all about the Varna system. It is deeply rooted into the scriptures and philosophies and how, you know, I would like you all to imagine yourself as an HR manager. Huh? Let's say you need somebody into finance. Okay, you, you, you have a requirement where you need a CFO. Okay, and somebody is going to send their CV saying that, hey, listen, I'm the best sales guy. I have achieved $10 million year in and year after, and I've got so many medals and so many achievements and so many certifications. You as an HR manager is going to say that, hey, listen, you know, I'm not discriminating against you, but all I need is a finance guy, you know, who should have a CFA or you should be, you know, having an understanding of our projections or he can deal with the banks and understand the cash flow, so on and so forth. So is the HR discriminating or is it doing selectivism based on the job or the position at hand? That is what Vedic astrology or that is what our Vedic Rishis meant by Varna, which is purely based on skill set, right? Now, in the previous slide, we understood that there are four Varnas. Let us understand what we call it as a Brahmana Varna. Huh? Planet Jupiter and Venus represent this Varna, basically, which is symbolizing wisdom, knowledge, spirituality. The professions that we uh, subscribe to is consultants, priests. You know, in a, 
in a nutshell, we can say that, hey, listen, you know, the Brahmin professions are professions where your physical body is not that important. It is your mental ability. It is your uh, intellectual strength. It is the power of your knowledge. It is power of your visualization, so on and so forth. That becomes extremely important when we talk about the professions related to Jupiter and Venus. If you look at a consultant, he is purely using his knowledge. So in professions where your knowledge is power is something which is purely Jupiterian profession. Okay. Now, when you talk about Kshatriya, Kshatriyas are the fighters. Hence, Surya and Mangal, which are Agni planets, are associated with this profession. And these are associated with bravery, leadership, sense of justice. So generally, we can say that leadership positions are associated with the Kshatriya. So as much as people feel that, hey, listen, you know, the Brahmins, so-called Brahmins or, uh, uh, you know, Brahmins have got too much of advantage or they actually are having everything for them. The fact of the matter is actually it is Kshatriyas which are in the leadership position. The Brahmins are actually the advisors. Okay. Whereas the Kshatriyas are the one who are leading. They, they have the people who have the fire in the belly. They are the people who are the risk takers. They are the real entrepreneurs. They are the real leaders. So all those people actually come in this profession, Kshatriya profession, because in a way they are fighting day in and day out, fighting for their leadership, fighting to ensure that they are Forbes number one, fighting to ensure that you know they have the cutting edge technology, so on and so forth. So these are the people who are thought leaders. You know These are the people who are leading from the front and fighting it out at a different level day in and day out. Okay. Whereas Vaishyas are professions which were ruled by Moon and Mercury. Now, Moon and Mercury are, are in a way, we can say these are the trading community. Okay. Finance, Mercury, currency, understanding the, the financial flow. These are the people who can understand the cash flow Excel sheet. A guy like me, who, you know, who is a consultant or who comes in the Jupiter and Venus profession, you know, I would have no idea of a head or tail when somebody says it is, this is top line, bottom line, GP, you know, all those. I, I understand the terms, but I wouldn't be able to interpret, you know, among the three cash flows, which is actually good and where are the threats and what are the liabilities and, you know, that this Vaishya person will be able to understand. So if I need a CFO, then I need this guna of Mercury and Moon for that person to be very strong for me to recruit him for this role. Last but not the least, what we look down upon as a Shudra Varna is actually ruled by Saturn. Now, these are people, you know, we can say are blue collar jobs, but generally we can say these are opposite to Brahmin professions. These are the people who can really toil very hard. You know, if, if we need to do house shifting, right? In Dubai, it is very common. We need to shift houses, uh, you know, once a year, twice a year, whatever it is. So we, we have this uh, people, you know, who will help us to shift. So these are the people, you know, who can work at 45 degrees, 50 degrees, the heat of Dubai, and who will have no issues at all. A guy like me, frankly speaking, wouldn't be able to work at 50 degrees. But you ask that person, you know, who is shifting houses to take strategic decisions, he would say that, hey, listen, you know, I can shift houses, I can lift this heavy sofas and everything, but don't tell me to think like a Brahmin. A Brahmin will say that, hey, listen, you know, don't tell me to, you know, work hard in, in uh, scorching sunlight. You know, I won't be able to do it. So what we are trying to understand here is, listen, you know, Varna is a skill set. Don't, don't think it as a bifurcation. Don't think as a discrimination, rather. It's a clear bifurcation based on talent, not based on birth. Somebody might be born as a Brahmin at birth, but let's say he's a trader, then technically he's doing a Vaishya work, right? He is more into mercurial concept of work. Somebody is born as a Shudra, you know, but let's say he's into government, then he's born as a Shudra, but he's, he's more into government, Kshatriya Varna. So we are very clear that Varna is determined by one's quality and action and not by birth or caste. If it was, if it was by birth, then technically everybody will have the same profession, right? I would still be in Somnath doing my pujas at the Shiva temple. But no, I'm here in Dubai doing consultancy work, but I've also done project management. I've also done sales indirectly, you know, 
so what happens is in some way we are we are part of all the varnas we are we are sometimes doing a kshatriya work we are sometimes doing a vaishya work you know sometimes if my team is not there i'm i'm invoicing my client because my help desk is on leave let's say i'm picking up calls and speaking to my client you know sometimes i have to do even a shudra work you know when i'm i'm at my gym then i'm toiling very hard so i'm i'm working like like a shudra i want to sweat it out so at that point of time i'm i'm making my saturn strong so i want you all to be very realistic that you know our rishis would never never be discriminatory and that is something that i want you all to understand so i hope i was able to give you a clarity some level of sense to the whole propaganda that's going on that hinduism has got lot of caste system it is not possible because our rishis were not casteist they were influenced by varna and getting influenced by varna getting influenced by quality is something that we all do day in and day out so i hope this helps you out and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much